Round 3 of Suzuka has been a very entertaining race, to say the least. Not only did Toyota come to Honda's home track and make their presence known, but the 777 D Station Aston Martin and its dual drivers of Fuji and rookie Charlie Fagg came through to deliver the team's first win in Super GT. Starting off in GT500, from the beginning, Toyota was strong on pace with the number 37 DLS Supra and the number 14 Ineos Supra leaving the field. For a good portion of the race, the number 14 Ineos Supra was really applying pressure to the number 37 DLS Supra and managed to take the lead after a driver change and pit stop by the number 37 car on lap 61. From this point, the number 14 Supra built a large gap and ran off. That's until they received the drive through penalty for an unsafe release. They managed to come back out in fourth and eventually they would make their way back to the podium finish in P2, right behind the number 37 DLL Supra, who managed to take the win. The number 16 and number 8 Arda cars were battling out for a good portion of the race. Even when as far as almost taking themselves out, the number 16 Arda Mugen Civic managed to take home P3, while the number 8 retired after 44 laps. Here are your results in GT500 for round 3 at Suzuka. In GT300, the 777 Aston Martin of D-Station qualified first and showed why. At one point, the returning team had an almost 35 second lead on the field. They managed to finish first with a 38 second difference. After a strong showing for a lot of the race, the number 31 APR LC500 could only manage a P4 finish. I believe it was due to strategy. The Gainer Z retired after 48 laps. Here are your results in GT300 for round 3.